This is Ron Hicks with Ron's Media Much Freedom Miles Radio, and I'm here to show you today how to do an auto duck in Audacity. And what I have here at the top is my musical backtrack, and I'll play it for you. I'll start at the end. Okay, what I'm doing here this oh, is. Oh, no, wait, uh, stop. Let me mute the spoken part. This is going to be my music, for, this is going to be my backtrack for my commercial. Alright. And, well, and, and this is the spoken part. Okay, what I'm doing here, this is an example of how to make. Alright, so, you got that covered. Now, when I select the, uh, when I select the music part, you can look down here and see that's one minute long. <coughs> you select the spoken part, it's 55 seconds long. So the spoken part is uh, five seconds shorter than the uh, backtrack. And what I want to do is, I want to take the uh, spoken part, and I want to move it to the middle, or right under the middle of the uh, backtrack. So we're, gonna, we're in the selection mode now. We go to this time shift tool, and we're going to move it. It's about... Uh, about right in the middle there. Somewhere. That's pretty close. And what we want to do, we want to uh, duck duck. <laughs> we want to decrease the volume in a 55 second portion of the uh, backtrack. And so we're going to go back to our selection tool. And you can see the boundaries down here on the uh, ba on spoken part. You can see the boundaries at each end. And we go up here. We're going to take our selection tool. We want to line up with the boundaries down here, but we want to be the selection up here, and you can see it's yellow around here, so that shows us. So we'll just do a selection like so, and see it lines up. And we got that. It's right there, and I believe it's a little bit off here. I'm going to move it right on it. All right, now. We're pretty, we're pretty much there. Oh, have to do it again. It's not a... Uh, well, we'll overdo it and then come back and uh, move it back a little bit. Right there. Alright, that's got it. So now we've got this portion up here. we got a 55 second portion of a 60 second backtrack. And it's got two and a half... Uh, where it's two and a half seconds on each end where it's not selected. And we want to duck down this volume here. So we're going to go to effects. And we'll auto duck. And see it's decreases by 15 dB. I want to knock it down to about 17. Although you can leave it at 15. And then we'll hit, oh. It takes about a minute and a half. If I can ever figure out how to get this video capture going. So, processing the auto duck. And it takes a few minutes to do that. Or, no, it's, I've done this about six times already. It's driving me nuts. So anyway, it's going to process it for us. And it's uh, slowly moving along there. And hopefully I'll have this thing recorded. And, uh... It can help you out uh, how to do a promotion for your show. So anyway, uh, da 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 da. So it's going down slowly. Looks like it's going to run about maybe a minute and twenty seconds. Hmm, maybe a little longer than that. Kind of moving kind of fast there. It's speeding up toward the finish. Da 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 now, I'll play this sucker, and you can see how it works. I'll start at the beginning, 
and you'll hear a little bit of the music uh, on, uh, at the higher volume and then as he gets a spoken word it'll decrease. Okay, what I'm doing here, this is an example. And that's pretty good then. An auto duck and audacity. I don't know what number this is. But uh, I'll show you how to do this and how to backtrack. Alright, that's how it works. So uh, that's my presentation on how to do an auto duck.